What's up, my cherry bomb? On today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top 10 spring fragrances. So this is one that I've been enjoying, you guys. It is new to the collection and I already have a dent. It is part of the perfume trade this month and I am loving, loving, loving it. Or was it last month? Probably this month. Who knows? I've been wearing it and it is such a perfect fragrance for the springtime. And it is Fleur Mood Ring. This has the top notes of fruits, Pattaya Orange, middle notes of Jasmine Sandback, Orange Blossom, and Marigold, and the base notes is Musk, Amber, and Patchouli. If this is your first time here, then you probably didn't hear what how I felt about this. I really like it. It smells like a Jolly Rancher, almost like a gummy bear. So you guys know those gummy bears, the original gummy bears that you guys buy at the store. You open it up and it smells just like this. You take a bite. It's like you, you, you guys already know, like your taste buds and your scent buds are like literally this close you really can't tell them apart it's exactly what i'm getting from this it smells and feels like i am spraying on gummy bears all over my skin and it's perfect for transitioning into summer now speaking of transitional fragrances don't worry my video for the winter fragrances transitioning to spring will be coming out soon but i felt like i needed to put this one out because i'm currently in spring now but then i realized that some people are still in winter so i promise you guys that video is coming out soon but y'all this one for spring 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 so fresh so clean and it does give me a good seven hours on the skin and if you ask me seven hours is lasting all day for me because i'm never anywhere for more than five hours i'm not even gonna lie i'm really never anywhere besides home so if it is giving me seven hours and I have errands to run all day and even at the seven hour mark, I'm still getting compliments because the sillage is amazing. That's all I need from a fragrance. This is really nice. It makes me feel super happy. It makes me feel very vibrant and fresh and just welcoming. This is nice, perfect for springtime. Now this next one is one that I really like for the springtime and I think that it is the perfect time to wear any fragrance from this specific brand and it's from Jo Malone. English Pear and Freesia from Jo Malone. It is categorized as a fruity floral. It has the top notes of pear and melon which is amazing together, really amazing. Then in the mid you have Frisian Rose in the base you have musk patchouli rhubarb and amber what i get from this fragrance is a melon freesia a little bit of the musk and pear and towards the dry down the pear does settle down a little bit but it's still there it's definitely a juicy pear and i feel like it's not too sweet because of that melon you know how melon is melon could either be sweet or tart i think it's perfect for this time of year I think you will get a lot of compliments if you add this to your collection. It's one of those fragrances that you could just easily just spray on and go and not have to worry about not smelling well. Okay, it's fresh out of the shower, definitely giving all of that vibe. And it's one of those fragrances that I will associate with a clean girl. If you don't care to get a lot of compliments, but you'll get like a subtle, oh, you smell beautiful, oh, you smell nice, then this is the one for you because it's not a attention grabber but it is one that if someone smell you and you have your makeup softly beat and then you have a nice flowy spring dress like uh, the pastel colors and um, you have a beautiful nude pink lip, your hair is pulled back or it looks really uniform and you have a cute little bag, dainty jewelry, you will get a compliment because you're, you look put together, you look like you intentionally wanted to smell very fresh clean and even if you just throw on a nice pale or white neutral colored shirt with some washed off jeans a cute sandal or a cute sneaker because you guys know if i'm not wearing a sandal i'm wearing sneakers okay um yeah you will look put together pulled together really clean and fresh i like this a lot and i really like jolo fragrances for that specific reason not for longevity not for sillage well actually sillage you get that but when it comes to a drum alone fragrance it's one of those fragrance houses that i just want to pick up and go and spray on and i don't mind putting it in my bag and walking off you know that's what i get from this fragrance it's super clean super fresh and i really like it and i can't wait to start wearing this this spring really good for the springtime this next one is more of a elevated scent i feel like this fragrance is perfect for if you're looking for a signature scent okay for the springtime if you have to go into the office 
because I don't know about you guys, but I love me a good corporate baddie, okay? With your nice handbag, you know, your three or four inch heels and even kitten heel. And you look just so put together and polished. This is that fragrance for you. Now, you don't have to be a corporate baddie because I'm not. And sometimes I wear this fragrance, you know. I'm not a corporate baddie, but I feel like this associates so well with a corporate baddie. It's from Killian, and it's Killian Can't Stop Loving You. Now, this is categorized as a white fruity floral, and I love that for us because I feel like that's perfect for a corporate baddie. And this one has the top notes of orange blossom and paradisone, middle notes of honey, and then the base you have oak moss, Madagascar vanilla, and aldenum. You guys. I don't wanna spray this on my skin because it is long lasting and this is not what I feel like wearing today so I'm gonna spray it on the strip. Simply put, this is a gorgeous, oh, it's gorgeous. And I remember the first time I sprayed this on or smelled this, I didn't like it. I have different thoughts now. I changed my mind. It's beautiful, I like it, it's gorgeous. I don't see myself not having this in my collection. It is a perfect signature scent for the spring and summertime. It gives off neroli, but it's not neroli. And I think that's the honey and the orange blossom. It may be the paradisson together, but I'm not sure. But the dry down is gorgeous because you get that beautiful oak moss and the vanilla. It's just giving signature vibes. So I feel like if you want to be an it girl, if you want to be a corporate baddie or even a baddie, okay, this is that. I imagine a girl wearing a beautiful, slim suit or pencil skirt outfit and she has long flowy dark hair with a soft beat and you wearing this i don't know if you guys know kiana watson she's a realtor yeah i'm sure you guys know her because she's one of the most popular realtors in atlanta yeah i know how she be dressing it just gives off her vibes like it's clean it's sexy it's alluring it's different enough but it still reminds you of something cozy and just rich it gives off old money it gives off very classy and elegant and i really like that a lot and i think that it is perfect for the springtime now this next one is one that you can easily say well abby this is a summertime fragrance but i feel like it is perfect for summer and spring okay this is one that i will honestly and honestly say that y'all need okay y'all need especially if you guys like fruity tropical florals and during the springtime that's a lot of time where people go on vacations. Y'all know it's spring break currently right now and I feel like people go on vacations during this time because one, it's a time where people go on vacation because they have their kids, they're on break, and two, you know, it's a perfect time to go to your favorite Caribbean. And this fragrance right here came out in the perfect time, at the perfect time. It's one from Rosie Jane and it is Missy. You guys, this is beautiful. It has the top notes of pineapple and coconut. It has tropical fruits, amber, white florals, and green mandarin. This is so freaking pretty. Now, Rosie Jane sent me out a PR box and they sent out 10 ml of this fragrance, right? They didn't give us no notes. They didn't even give us anything about the fragrance, no name or anything. And um, all we had to do was just play around with it. You guys, I finished that decant in one week, literally. I kept wearing it and wearing it. This smells like the most luxurious tropical fragrance ever, um, but it's so simple. It's one of those fragrances that you'll just spray on if you're on the beach. If Soda Janeiro came out with a fragrance, oh well, another fragrance in a perfume version, it would be this, you know? Definitely tropical, very much giving I'm at Bali, I'm in Puerto Rico, I am in Mexico. I'm just on vacation and I'm trying to get a tan. I'm just trying to look good and feel good and just have a fragrance that's so easy to just spray on and go. Every single time I used to see a Rosie Jane bottle, I was just like, okay, well, this doesn't look like it's going to last, but this definitely lasts all day. I got a good seven to eight hours. At the six hour mark, it definitely toned down and it became a small bubble around me but throughout the whole time i'm wearing it if your arm length away from me then you'll definitely smell me especially like when i do this or that because i spray my wrist and i spray um the back of my hand all the time because while i'm talking to you i want you to smell me and i talk with my hands so yeah no um beautiful 
beautiful gorgeous it's the perfect tropical fragrance that you can wear for springtime especially if you're you know you have a vacation coming up i highly 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 recommend this one it's super new and y'all know it's a clean fragrance at sephora and it's affordable it's definitely under 100 dollars, and i love that for me especially during this time of year or during this time that we're living in things are just expensive you know bacon is like ten dollars i was just talking to jay holloway he was like he went inside of Publix and bacon was like ten dollars like what and it was just regular smuggler bacon so yeah i'm not i don't feel like spending a hundred dollars on a fragrance if i really don't have to and i feel like this is perfect so if you're looking for a tropical fragrance and you're going on a vacation like right now definitely check out missy it's small enough to just throw inside of your bag or under the plane or whatever it is and it smells amazing and you will get compliments and it's the perfect fragrance that you could spray on your skin without worrying about anything else looking for a good fragrance for the springtime this is it and even the summertime this is it now this next one is one that i am super excited to wear i think this is perfect for the springtime and it's another clean type of girl fragrance i feel like it's one of those fragrances that you could just put on and go and not think twice about it it's from skyler and it is sunkissed delilah and or Dyla, Dyla, or something like that who knows child english is not my first language i would have loved for it to be but it's not so y'all gonna just get it how it is but this one is beautiful it's from skylar like i said it is a beautiful one that i think that is perfect for the springtime and it starts off with um, a whole bunch of fruits but a little bit of tartiness it has top notes of apple and mame and red currant mineral notes of dyla jasmine and rose in the base it has custard vanilla and amber and sandalwood and that's what i like about it the most because it is so sweet but creamy at the same time mm -hmm. You guys that dry down is everything but it's perfect it's like one of those fragrances that i could honestly compare it to eden juicy apple so if you like eden juicy apple oh maybe you're gonna love this one because it has that underline of that custard so it is sweet creamy and just like i wouldn't say fluffy but like thick okay but not too thick like you're gonna choke out it's so nice it is so nice and i think that scholar did a good job with this one for sure it is perfect for the springtime. Now, I don't know if it's the, the dialogue that makes it sound or stand out so much, but like, girl, I like this one a lot. And I'm considering wearing this one for my son of the day, even though it's not on the trade child. It's good though. It is so freaking good. And I think that this is perfect for all the girls that are looking for a fruity floral fragrance that's in the clean house. Skylar does a good job. Like whenever I have like friends, you know they have young girls that have birthdays um usually like around 10 11 and they want their first fragrance i always gift them a skylar fragrance i think that skylar is perfect it is um one of those fragrance houses that doesn't have an age okay you could be as young as 10 years old or as old as 80 90 and you could still rock this and there's no age limit now i know that i always say and i still believe it that i don't put an age on fragrance but there are some fragrances that I would never give a child to, okay? I won't give no child no Delina or Shalimar, and I wouldn't even wear Shalimar. But if that's your type of thing, baby girl, go ahead and do it. But me, I would never wear Shalimar. I honestly feel like Shalimar is one of those fragrances that definitely does have a date, and the date is 2,000 years old. Like, no, throw it away, I don't like it, okay? <laughs> but this one right here is genderless, it is ageless. It's a beautiful fruity floral that I think that everyone should have in their collection. That apple note in this fragrance mixed with that Dyla and that custard really gives it the oomph that it needs. If you like custard or if you've never tried custard, this, this is it. This is it. And I've never had custard in a fragrance. It's usually whipped cream, vanilla, toffee. But girl, this is so pretty and I think it's perfect for vacation as well. Skylar did a really good job with this and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Good job, Skylar. This one was good and is good. Um, definitely a good one. I get six hours on the skin, but it is a clean house and this scent profile is not one that will last forever. Well, it can last forever. They just don't do it that way. Yeah, I know I'm going to keep it 100. But with that amber and the vanilla and the custard, it gives it more of a longevity. Whereas if it only had the vanilla, and the sandalwood it wouldn't and it is a little woody and creamy too not too much but 
you know it's good good i like it perfect for springtime this is one that you just don't think about it's a go-getter okay you just grab it go and do what you gotta do that's what this is now this next one i don't want y'all to say nothing because i've only had it for one week and i did tell you guys i was sick but i couldn't wear any fragrance that was super heavy or super sweet so i was wearing clean warm woody or even musky fragrances and this fragrance right here girl i've been wearing her and she has a dent and like i said i've only had it for a week and it's super long lasting so it's not like i over sprayed it because it wasn't lasting no baby this was lasting and lasting i just kept spraying it on because i really liked it and i was wearing it every day it's from Maison Margiela, and it is Lazy Sunday Morning. Girl, this is so good. This is a musky, fresh, white floral fragrance. It has the top notes of aldehydes, lily of the valley, and pear. In the mid, you have rose, iris, and orange blossom. In the base, you have musk. In the base, you have white musk and barrette, which is a musk mellow. And then you have Indonesian patchouli leaf. Can we just talk about the dent that's in this fragrance now this one it really does start off with that lily of the valley don't really get that pear but the aldehydes are there so if you don't like aldehydes i wouldn't say knock this fragrance off or you know scratch this fragrance off your list i still would say go in spray it on and walk away because the aldehydes doesn't stay there that long and the aldehydes in the lily of the valley gives off like a wet watery spring like fragrance it doesn't smell like mildew but it just smells so fresh that you can feel the water on your skin. And then the pear is given that juicy sweetness. But then when you go to the dry down, it gets powdery, musky, and just so fresh. Really like this fragrance. Obviously, y'all can tell because I've only had it for one week. It's nice. And that patchouli gives it that longevity. And the patchouli leaf is not as harsh as it would have been if it was just patchouli, you know? So you get like a splash of patchouli in the um, base and it's beautiful i think this is super super long lasting and it definitely gives off those vibes like a lazy sunday morning like let's say you just wake up on sunday because you cleaned all on saturday and you just wake up on sunday and the house is fresh and clean and you just make your cup of coffee or you know your cup of tea hot tea that is and you just chill out and enjoy the rest of the day that's literally what it is you watch your shows you eat and you're just having a good time a lazy sunday morning is exactly what this is it's so fresh it's musky you put on your favorite loungewear preferably cream or white and you just have a really good day that's exactly what this is love 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 it obviously you guys see that it is sick abby approved i've been wearing it all week long and the dent is insane now this next one is one that i haven't heard anyone talk about as much and this one is a fruity floral as well and it is from floral street and it is a sweet almond blossom i really like this one i really 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 like this one it has a note of apple blossom palmetto passion fruit vanilla tonka bean heliotrope mandarin orange matcha tea and sandalwood really love this apple blossom um i did say cherry blossom but it it's apple blossom you guys so freaking pretty i was wearing this a lot in the summertime and it's gorgeous it smells so good so freaking good like it smells like garnier fruities the original garnier fruities um shampoo and conditioner love it so fruity so fresh so clean fresh out of the shower if you want to get compliments this is that because it is amazing now it doesn't have almond in it but it has that creamy sandalwood mixed with that tonka bean and vanilla that gives it that almondy vibe but it's not really almond I like it a lot and it's one of those fragrances that you cannot go wrong with at all if you're looking for a fragrance that's easy that's crowd pleasing that's going to get your compliments during the springtime this one this one is the one that you want and i would definitely highly recommend to add this to your collection floor street has some really good fragrances and this happened to be one of my favorite ones that's why it's in the collection now this next one is one from kayali you already know it i'm not gonna ponder on it too much because y'all know when this baby came out, it was a love at first sniff. And it is Eden Sparkling Lychee. It has keynotes of black currant, sparkling lychee, rose, damascama, or whatever, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. Girl, simply put, this is beautiful. You can't go wrong with this one at all. I love this one. Sugared lychee. 
it's a beautiful lychee fragrance that is super sweet now you guys already know lychee can give off tartness especially if you add rose to it but the fact that the violet is candied never heard of that but because it is candied you get that hard candy type of smell that i really like it's like one of those um jolly ranchers that you just keep on eating preferably the blue one because i really love the blue one and that's exactly what this is giving me so if you have this sprayed on and see if it reminds you of a jolly rancher it's so good i recently wore this to date night with um vanilla 28 huh you already know that that thing ate and left no crumbs behind if you're looking for the perfect springtime fragrance sparkling lychee is beautiful it does smell like you know a lychee martini or a jolly rancher um, with some bubbles in it like if you mixed it with prosecco yeah baby like give me all of this this springtime since we're talking about lychee fragrances i couldn't make a list without this fragrance it is from ness and it is lychee rose rose lychee raspberry and champagne rose this is so fresh this is what i would wear to brunch during the springtime this is what i would wear to go eat tea go eat tea and drink coffee what this is what i would wear to go eat cake and desserts and drink coffee or or tea you guys it is so elegant it is so pretty i feel like if you wear this fragrance and i smell it on you and be like damn she knows she knows ness did a good one with this one and i think that a man and a woman could wear this like if a man walks down the aisle or shopping aisle that is <laughs> um and he's smelling like this because that's where i smell a lot of men at the grocery store um or at the mall oh i'm gonna stop you and give you a compliment it smells amazing and mark has worn this um to test my theory before we made this video and it smells amazing on him you guys so good so sparkling <sighs> something about this fragrance just gets me every single time i think the raspberry gives it that sweetness that it was missing but the rose and lychee and champagne rose really does a good job on the skin super long lasting as well and i didn't think this would last long but my last um nest fragrance lasted long so i don't know why i thought this wouldn't last long y'all pair this with the nest jasmine oil it's a wrap it smells amazing with turkish rose don't get me wrong but paired with jasmine oh it takes it up to a different level love 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 this and i think it's perfect for springtime that's but certainly not least this is the fragrance that if you don't pick anything out this list which i honestly would like for you guys to pick other new ones because this one's not a new fragrance it's a classic i would honestly want you guys to pick something new honestly but if you don't have this in your collection i will tell y'all to go ahead and get this first before you get anything that's new here only because it's such a classic it girl fragrance Burberry Her, the original. Now you guys know I love this fragrance. It has the top notes of strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin, lemon. In the mid you have violet and jasmine. In the base you have musk and vanilla, cashmere and woody notes, amber, oak moss and patchouli. It has all those notes. And honestly, I don't care because it makes it smell so good. So if I literally grab all those notes and put it in a bowl, I'm expecting Burberry Her okay this is a fragrance that will always get you compliments it's so sexy it's so classic it was made by yours truly maison francis kirk dijon you know um it's so classic now people do say it smells like baccarat rouge i do get the vibe the cotton candy vibe but that's literally it nothing else smells like baccarat rouge and this one doesn't but it does give off those vibes like and y'all know like maison francis kirk Dijon probably was like this let me just sprinkle a little baccarat juice or dust in this so i can make the girls go crazy um it's amazing and obviously this did come out before that but y'all talk about a beautiful beautiful fragrance and i think that everyone should have this in your collection especially for the springtime this can be worn all year round but in the springtime it shines so well and honestly i'm not gonna say that you're not gonna smell it on everybody else but i don't care if i'm wearing this and somebody else is wearing it it's gonna smell completely different on our skin because the way i'm gonna start my foundation is gonna be top tier okay so if you're looking for a fragrance for the springtime this one 
is it if you don't have it already now if you have this already or if you was already thinking about getting a re-up don't re-up try something new because these other ones are bangers but if you don't have this already yeah baby get this it is perfect and i think that it will give you all the compliments and more comment down below some new fragrances that are out that you want to add to your spring collection comment down below if you're going to be wearing any of these fragrances comment down below i really want to talk to you guys in the comments down below if it is your first time here go ahead and subscribe because we are on the road to 100k i really want to get to 100k by my birthday and i know it will be possible if you guys go ahead and share the video with your friends and your loved ones and even if you don't like somebody but you want them to smell good just like you smell good go ahead and share it baby because they're not gonna know okay i have so many videos we all can smell good together all right thank you so much for joining me here yet again everything will be linked in the description box below for your convenience please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances bye cherry bombs <laughs>